The broom cotton comes from. Most jeans is colored in the characteristic blue indigo color. Indigo is among the oldest dyes used for textile dyeing and originates from the indigo ferro plant. The threads are dipped in large tubs with indigo color and pulled up in the air on large drums. When the indigo reacts with the oxygen, it turns blue. The threads are dipped repeatedly until the cotton threads has an intense dark blue color. The color creates a coating around the thread. The thread is still white inside, giving denim its characteristic faded white look when worn. If you look closely at your own pair of jeans, you can see the twill pattern of blue and white threads. The blue threads, called the warp, is pulled up and down on the loom and the white thread, called the weft, is shot back and forth from the entire length of the loom, creating the denim pattern. The most common weave is a 3x1, meaning that three warp threads are visible for every weft thread. That is why the weft is more visible on the back side of the fabric. Another type of weaving is selvage, used in our RDD collection. Selvage denim is made the original way on old shuttle looms dating back to the 1950s. Production speed is much slower than modern looms, reducing the tension on the yarn, creating a softer feel and a more durable fabric. These old looms requires more skilled workers and is only produced in Japan and Italy because of their long tradition in jeans manufacturing. To prevent the fabric from twisting after it's sewn into jeans, it's softened and stretched. The denim is also heated and shrunk to make sure the jeans stay the same size after it's sold. Before the denim leaves the fabric mill, it undergoes a strict quality control. Here, any defects or variations of color in the fabric is detected. A consistent quality denim is necessary to ensure the Jack and Jones quality in jeans.